Okay, folks, welcome back to our Sky Factory 2.5 Let's Play with me, Sizer Kose. Yeah, so to make a, a bed, we're going to need one, two, three of those. And to make a sieve, we'll need to get on our crafting station. And yeah, we need two of those, I think, to make a sieve. So we made some silk meshes there. And if we just look up. Civ. Um, you'll see that there's all these different auto sieves and things, and I've never done any sieving of dirt. I didn't even know this was a thing uh, until I started building uh, Skyblock. So let's have a crack on this bad boy. So we need sticks and wood and silk mesh. Okay, I guess the shift click thing does work. Um, so now we've got our. I kind of need to move that battle back there, but uh, for the moment it can wait there. Yeah, so we got uh, we got our sieve now, and this sieve takes dirt, and uh, if we got we got all those of silkworms now. Uh, so I'll just put another ten away. This is like my box where I I, I put all of the things I don't want to to use up by mistake. But yeah, for the for the meantime, we can use up all the rest of this string in the in the barrels and get as much dirt as we can because we're going to be sifting. Um, you can pretty much put anything organic in here, so yes, silkworms also will add to the stuff that you can put in here. Uh, I think that is that. However, so right, let's get the uh, the tree farm going. I'm just gonna pop there. One, two, three, four. And if I twerk now, you'll be able to see that um, I turned on the particles so you can see the, the effect. Uh, just put on minimal par particles. You can see that, uh, yeah, I can stand really far back and I still affect all of these trees. And uh, so I can just, I could stand here and twerk forever and get all of these trees up, but I don't really need the, uh, the sap light at the moment. I guess we should, we could probably use some for some dirt, so let's just attack it there. Yeah. And it makes it incredibly easy to... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's a bigger tree. That could be quite a decent amount of sapling. Can reach anything else. Oh, I can get a bit more. Okay, there we go. So now we've got another sapling and wood farm going, um, which is fantastic because it just means that we're gonna have loads more wood. Let's fill that up and fill that up, and we'll fill that up too. And always making sure that you've got some sapling left because at some point you're bound to do something like derpy. And just accident. <laughs> oh, I am. I know for a fact I am bound to do something derpy. And uh, yeah, I'll end up using up all the sapling and forget that I, I forgot. Like I occasionally later on, I, I farm some string or something, and bang, there it goes, all gone. Right. So fancy new sieve, and here's me mucking around. Uh, yeah, could be showing you the sieve. So let's just make sure we've got all the dirt that we currently have. We're gonna need loads of it, so uh, we may have to disappear. And you just fire the. Uh, the old dirt into the sieve like this and you'll see in the bottom of my screen there on my toolbar that I'm picking up some stones and those pebbles basically can be used to make your cobblestone blocks which is uh, great news for all involved because uh, cobblestone is a big deal uh, you can get a lot of the ores and things from smashing it up so I mean in terms of like how this works like chemically and, and physically this is all totally impossible like you can't start out with uh, basically a bit of a tree and end up with iron ore, at least not in this time frame. Um, so yeah, it's all kind of it's kind of silly, but um, yeah, it's also uh, like really cool the fact that you start out with nothing and look at us we've already we've gone from having just a tree to having all of these bits of equipment and we've got like the the tree up there and the, the farm and all these saplings and the dirt. 
So yeah, pretty good going. So you can see from uh, saving that up, we've got a couple of oak, sapling, uh, oak saplings, which is not surprising considering we used the saplings to make it. We got some rubber tree seeds, which is awesome. Uh, we got some seeds for wheat, so we could use the wheat uh, to make some more um, food and melon seeds as well. So we could make a little farm now if we wanted to, and we could start uh, popping these down. Uh, now, those things are insignificant because what we want is the stone, and I think we've got exactly the right amount there to make a. Well, I could use this to make a furnace but we're gonna we're gonna go one step further we're gonna make a slab furnace uh the reason being that i just want the the cobblestone to go a bit further so slab furnace is built in the same way as a regular furnace just with cobblestone slabs and hey presto we are cooking we are cooking on gas uh we've got our first furnace and what can we do with the furnace? What can we do indeed? We can make coal. So with the coal, we'll have a fuel source. And uh, yeah, hopefully that's that's us cracking now. Um, so I'll make up a bunch of charcoal in the furnace and I'll continue uh, to, uh, basically I'm gonna farm some more trees and get a whole bunch more dirt so we can get a, a, a bit more cobblestone on the go. Because we're gonna need to smash up that cobblestone and uh, turn it into various ore dusts and things. So yeah, all highly important, but I'll see you after I've done a bit more tree farming. Okay, so I've been doing a bit more tree farming and uh, my ax just broke. So I think what I'm gonna do now is uh, get onto the, uh, the, sorry, I've been drinking tea. It's made me a little bit windy pops. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and uh, make our first Tinker's Construct tools. So uh, if we check the achievements book, uh, we've used the, then the crook, yeah, done. Uh, we've crafted a sieve, yeah. We've uh, crafted cobblestone, yeah. We haven't made hammer yet, which we're going to do in a moment. Um, and we haven't done this part. We've just done the uh, the dirt. And you can see here that you can get uh, Tinker's Construct tools from bone or flint. Uh, so we don't have any bone, but we, we can get flint. And uh, this is kind of where we're at right now. So... I'm just grabbing up all of this stuff here because uh, we've still got our, our supply in there and we've still got our a whole bunch of crooks that we can use, but I, I want a, an axe, right? So uh, we need to get all of our uh, bits and pieces together because um, this is a point where we're basically going to start looking at these books. So if we look at uh, Materials in You, Volume 1, uh, this is Tinker's Construct, and it's a very simple uh, mod, and essentially it gives you all of these uh, patterns here and recipes for how to... Oh, there's the rain on. I guess water is no longer a problem. Um, which means I can probably get rid of this wooden crucible just now. There's me talking about making a new axe, and I go and make a, a bloody rubbish wooden axe. Uh, let's just get rid of the the crucible, though, because I wanted to uh, get these barrels in the right place. My OCD will kick in at various points. I must have my barrels together. It just doesn't seem right otherwise. Uh, I kind of want to have this this chest over a bit as well. And that's just mainly because um, I might make an extra barrel at some point and uh, if I do I want it to be to be here in this gap. So uh, yeah we got all our bits and pieces uh, in here. Uh, if I got silkworms up here I do not. So let's make sure we've got at least 15 will do, I guess. Um, I kind of forgot that, that water threw me right off. Look at all the water. That is so good because we needed that. Um, uh, 
Yeah, I've completely thrown off. I was going to go and make uh, our first uh, Tinker's Tools. So the best way to do this would be to get a hold of some flint. I mean, we've got stone, which isn't a bad uh, a bad thing. But um, yeah, I think if we maximise the amount of stone we have, grind it up into some gravel, we'll be able to get some flint. And uh, flint would make a pretty good ingredient um, for... Well, a whole bunch of things. We also need to make a bucket so we can make an infinite water source. And we can use clay to do that. So yeah, let's just get as much uh, cobblestone as we can out of, the, out of this. So we got 33, which will give us a total of 11 pieces of cobblestone. We're going to need some of that to uh, build a hammer. So a hammer is just diagonal, isn't it? Uh, stone hammer. Where's the recipe? Is that the correct hammer? Oh, compressed stone hammer. Which just needs a bunch of these. One, two, three, four. How many? Is that the only way to make a compressed stone hammer? Well, it's not something I'm going to waste cobblestone on until we've got a... Uh, until we've got a cobblestone generator. Another spoiler. Um, yeah, let's get started. Right, now we can smash this, this cobblestone up. Which we can do... Like so. And now we've got a whole bunch of gravel. Now, I need to keep at least one piece of that, so the rest of it we can try and use for flint, and then we can try and make some uh, some axes and tools that we're going to use, pickaxes and things from Tinker's Construct. So if you've not used Tinker's Construct before, there'll be kind of like a cool little sort of tutorial type thing. What do we get? We've got some broken iron ore, so we've got our first piece of, uh, of iron can come out of that as well. And we got... Oh, we didn't get any flint. That's really annoying. Yeah, let's see if we can. Oh, now these are all going to be full up. I need to make sure that some of these have slabs on top of them. I think. Ugh. Oh, so annoy. So annoy. Uh, let's just keep these... Well, do we need that much water, I guess? We only need two. So, yeah, we'll keep these two uncovered and just cover up the entire of this back row, I guess. How do we do this? Is there an easy way to get... Ah, there we go. And... this. Man, Minecraft is so fun. I'm totally like losing track of time. Right, so now I just need to uh, unfortunately get rid of all of these battles. Pop those two back down. And while it's raining fill those two battles back up. And yeah, we should be golden. Let's just hope it doesn't stop raining all of a sudden. What was that? What was that? That noise. That was weird. Uh, you can see our map here. If I improve the size of the mini map, that there's no mobs anywhere. So uh, yeah, I don't know what that's about. Uh, weird. Maybe it was like the silkworms, like eating an apple or something. If somebody knows what that noise was, please tell me, because I don't, and it, it's freaking me out. Alright, let's get rid of those. And let's get rid of this. Alright, we got plenty of materials, I guess. Plenty of materials. Now we'll smash this down. And then we'll make that sand into dust. And then we'll make that dust 
into clay and we'll take that clay and we'll smash it into some clay pieces and we'll go over everything. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Unfired clay bucket. Did we finish doing this? Yes, we did. Pop it in the furnace and now we have a way of transporting the water from here into somewhere else. So we'll have to make ourselves a little uh, a little water source. So what I think we'll do is we'll just pop the water source behind the furnace somewhere. Oh, there we go. First death. It always, always... What? No! Always happens. That is so fluky, though, because... And I'll show you a little... A little hack. Uh, if we put uh, some water down here, and maybe not there, maybe here. Actually, I should put it right here. Yeah, cheater, 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 whatever. Um, because of the, the way that the, the, the packs work, our stuff isn't gone. It's in a grave, and it's in a grave that is, like, currently one block above the void. So what I'm going to try and do now, without using this uh, bucket, because that would be disastrous, Okay, so we're going to head down. And you can see that we're using the water as a sort of an elevator. And the water actually will go down like slightly further than the, uh, the bottom. And now you can see that there's our grave. So all I've got to do is keep myself positioned above the grave, which is easier said than done when this water is pushing you in every direction. Don't, don't want to die here. Right. Can I use the shift key? That will work. I don't want to keep this held down, but once we get our, our grave done, There we go. All collected. And now we can just head back up the water stream. Back to our base. Which hopefully doesn't have any mobs spawned on it because we're now 30 blocks away from it. Ah! You you have a way out, everybody. There is a way out. Um, as long as you have your first bucket. So there we go, on stream, first death. Right, so now that we have our bucket, like I was saying, let's go and make a... Let's go and make our stream on this side, facing north. Um, and let's get rid of that flipping waypoint. Uh, yeah, so first death. Let's just make a little platform out here. And I'll need some ordinary oak for this as well. And I'll possibly need to fall off the edge again. Right. So if I make the platform like that. Um, let's see. Dit, dit. Yeah, bear with me while I try and figure this out. Um, I'm just going to basically try and make it aesthetically pleasing at the same time. Right, so then I need to 
No, not there. Let's just get the uh, the outside part done. I hate shifting on top of uh, half slabs. It's just so easy to put one in the wrong place and fall down. There we go. And let's pop this down here. Do you see how close I came falling off there? I hope you I hope you saw that. Uh, yeah. There! And there we go. Uh, a stream of water. Now what I need to do now... Is just... Place that one there. Let's try not to die this time. Wow, this mining is slow when you're in water. I hate that. I mean, it's not necessary, but at some point I expect there'll be a lower level under here. And I do not wish to... Uh, have to look at uh, this one slab that's out of place. There we go, anyway, it's done. It's done, it's done. Sorry for making you watch as I mine through water. Uh, right. Bop, bop, bop! Lovely! Look at that. Define the laws of physics. Um, but I like it. It looks cool. Sorry, I'll be less annoying. I'm just enjoying this so much. Uh, it's just incredibly satisfying, and I think if you've played Minecraft a lot, that these sounds just, uh, they conjure up, uh, real joyous emotions. Right, we're gonna have to start making some, uh, torches about now, because our base is beginning to get to the size where not doing so is foolish and uh, yeah not that I'm not foolish but um, yeah we probably should have a few down so let's just get these torches here it might help the trees grow faster when I'm not currently looking at the trees and uh, yeah let's get some some lighting up at this end as well. Okay, that should be enough. And the cool thing about this mod is it tells you the light levels on the slabs themselves. You can just look in the floor and make sure that you've got the uh, the light level you want. And do you know what I'm gonna do? And this is, like, this will probably help save ridiculous things like that happening in the future. I'm going to make uh a whole bunch of oak planks and I'm going to make a whole bunch of oh, let's just make sure that we've got this done properly fence eye fences um and then hopefully that will, uh, how did that happen? Did I just put up a, a not full block? Not paying attention as usual. Yeah. I'll probably need a few, uh, oh, I don't have. Apologies if you can hear me clicking away in the, in the background here, but... Um, I need some fence gates. Okay. And I'm just going to go right around the outside and uh, pop some of these uh, 
defenses in because at the moment I am uh, being a nightmare. These are probably all going to be taken down They're temporarily, but I am so bad at falling off the edge that uh, I think to not do this is just tempting fate. I'll probably fall off whilst doing this. You ever noticed how I am very easily distracted? Right! So uh, thanks for stopping by and watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave me a like. And if you really, really liked it, then uh, maybe you should subscribe to my channel for more episodes. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Ta-ra!